Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another rack stall haul. This time I need to shout out my wife for grabbing these two. She was at Marshall. She was kind of looking through the racks. She always checks for me if she's there. She FaceTimed me. She was kind of scanning the racks and I saw these two and you guys have been talking about these two. You've been letting me know in the comments section. I had done some first impressions of a couple other from this particular house that I really enjoy that I think are hidden gem type fragrances at the rack store. And these are both from Milestone Perfumes. The first one being, <laughs> I think this name is funny, Jubilee 26, which is a clear um, clone of Jubilation 25. So I just think it's funny that they added the one there uh, to make a Jubilation 26. So that's pretty funny. And the next one is an obvious clone of ombre leather, this one being ombre leather. And both of these are from Milestone Perfumes. She actually smelled them in store. She likes them quite a bit. This is the first time I'm seeing them. I haven't watched the footage she grabbed, so let me know in the comment section down below how she did and if there's anything that you guys would have grabbed. I just want to go over these fragrances, let you guys know they were $14.99 each at Marshalls. And if I had been completely unimpressed with the few that I've tried thus far, I wouldn't continue to grab these and recommend them to you guys. And I don't know what these are going to present. I don't know if these are going to be any good. I, I was willing to try them to see how they are. And at the end of this, if you guys stick around till the end of the video, I want to do a giveaway on these. So. Stay tuned for that. Stay till the end of the video. I want to do a giveaway for 6,000 subscribers for hitting 6,000. It's truly appreciated. Let's get into it. I'm going to try both of these on skin. I will say that I have not tried Jubilation 25. So this is not going to be a direct comparison to Jubilation 25. I have, however, tried Ombre Leather plenty of times. I have worn that fragrance. So I will know if this is a close dupe of that scent. So let's get into it and see what I get. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if this atomizer is insanely good because of all these milestone perfumes, the first thing that stands out to me is that atomizer. And this is no exception. Incredible atomizer, very incense-y, little bit of fruit, um, synthetic smelling, but smells nice nonetheless. So definitely has that dryer sheet syntheticness to it. Uh, it doesn't smell like a dryer sheet, but that sort of fuzzy uh, feeling that you get from a dryer sheet. Oh, wow. Okay. Totally different on skin. Totally different. Still getting a lot of that incense, but I'm also getting a little bit of a fruitiness as well. There's a warmth to this. There is a slight balsamic sweetness to this as well. Almost syrupy, which I really like. Blended with incense, which is really nice, man. Did I say I was going to give this away? <laughs> I really like this. Jubilation 25 has been a fragrance that has been on my radar for quite some time. Again, I can't compare this to Jubilation 25 because I haven't tried that scent. So I'm treating this as its own standalone scent. First impressions of this, really nice. Does not smell cheap. Does not smell cheap at all. So although in the air I was getting that synthetic feel to it, uh, on skin it's much richer. It's much more resinous and you get that oily feeling to it, which again, I don't know if Jubilation 25 has that feel, but this feels oily, but that's not a bad thing. I don't know, this is probably an Eau de Parfum concentration. Yeah, Eau de Parfum concentration. So, cool, I like it so far. I mean, guys, this, we're not overcomplicating fragrance. To me, it, it's, again, it's $14.99, Things smell good. They smell good. It's hard to knock a scent like this because, number one, for a $14.99 fragrance, and this has been the case with all of these Milestone perfumes that I've tried, and the case for many Middle Eastern fragrances, is that they seem to be separate themselves from your typical cheapie, and we all know what those typical cheapies are. Those I try to steer away from at the rack store just because they're a dime a dozen, uh, there's really kind of nothing inspiring about them, a lot of those. So I try to find gems like this, and 
obviously the track record of milestone up until this point for me has been i've been really impressed with them and this one already on first spray first sniff first couple minutes on my skin this is no exception i'd be curious to see the longevity of this um it doesn't really smell like a massive projector i think if you sprayed this heavily uh it could be so let me jump on to the ombre leather and then i'll jump back to the jubilee 26. still can't get over that name and guys i mean they're clearly not hiding here who they're copying which i know that there is a lawsuit or something going on now this is leaking a bit um i don't know could be just in the cap but uh yeah so i'm curious to see um what happens with that lawsuit but i want to say the company is completely shutting down that blatantly just copied tom ford bottles and so ombre leather obviously a take on ombre leather from tom ford so let's get this on this hand oh let's check out the atomizer again no surprise here fantastic okay in the air already picking up ombre leather this one is ombre leather i mean it, it smells very much like ombre leather to me and i really like this this is really nice for me and i've talked about it on the channel before i really enjoy godolphin from parfums de mali which is probably closer to tuscan leather than it is ombre leather for ombre leather for me has always been not as multi-dimensional as a scent like tuscan leather or godolphin in in some ways it's a smoother much smoother scent than those fragrances but also less interesting to me there's less going on it's not as complex and this falls in line with that with ombre leather for me where it's not as complex of a fragrance it is a little bit of fruitiness that you get a slight bit of florals here and then it's just dominated with leather and that leather is done really nicely but for me it just reminds me too much of just being in like a new car which is nice i mean it's doesn't i don't think a new car smells bad there's a slight smoky woodiness to this as well not oody but it has uh more woods i would say than ombre leather so it is a little different in that respect uh which isn't a bad thing it just for me it's a little more going on than ombre leather ombre leather i get very sort of one-dimensional leather for most of the the scent which if you like that it's going to work great quality wise is not you know i'm not seeing a big hit here based on the price point where this is going to probably differ is in performance is my guess is that the performance may not be there but that's also not the case with a couple of the other milestones that i've tried i like this one again this scent dna is not my favorite so uh it's not i have godolphin i'm happy with godolphin it's one of my favorite leather fragrances if not my favorite leather this is again going to be closer to ombre leather less tuscan leather let's jump back to jubilee 26 i may have called the jubilation before i can't remember okay so this has changed this is taken on more of a oody uh woody uh floral feel but uh, a strange floral not something like that's really fresh and earthy it's still really smooth and there's just something about this note in here that I can't quite put my finger on it. It's dry and it's herbaceous. So it's underlining that smoke and that wood. Very interesting scent and very unique and different than anything else I've smelled really. There's some familiar facets to this, but that is a unique thing to me. Let's check the ombre leather. Yeah, this is even getting more uh, closer to ombre leather, but also it has a slight, which is again, a little different from ombre leather, a slight cleanness to it. I wouldn't say fresh. I wouldn't say floral. It's borderline soapy. It's almost like if you used a leather scented soap. Interesting uh, take on ombre leather. I, I, I think I've smelled other fragrances closer to the original ombre leather than this, but that doesn't mean that this is bad. I actually like that. Again, knowing what you know about my feelings on ombre leather and how I think it's very one-dimensional. This does have a few other things going on. And as far as Jubilee 26, that's also an interesting fragrance. Again, you're getting complexity here and at least quality smelling fragrances for $15. So that's pretty impressive. These, and luckily these are loose bottles. You guys can actually try these if you see them in store and see if you like them 
You can put it on, go shopping and, and see how it changes on your skin. I think they're both good. And I don't think that, again, $15, you can't really go wrong. I will wear these this week and I will feature them in Monday's Weekly Wears video so you guys can get a better sense then of longevity and how long they last at projection if anybody noticed them on me or anything like that. Again, I will say my wife smelled both of these and she enjoyed both of them. She thought they were both good. So, And she kind of has a nose for cheap smelling fragrance and neither of these stood out to her as smelling cheap. So as I said at the start of this video, guys, I want to do a giveaway for both of these fragrances for Jubilee 26 and Ombre Leather. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel if you are not yet. I hope you are. 75% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Boston underscore accents. And leave in the comment section down below which of these two fragrances you're most interested in. Is it the Jubilation 25 clone or the Ombre Leather clone? And I will choose two winners. It will last a week. Usually that's how long uh, they last. So you have a week to enter. And good luck, guys. 6K. Thank you so much. It is so appreciated. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you tried either of these fragrances? What are your thoughts on them? Are they legitimate clones of the original? Love to know what you guys think. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.